Hey YouTube, Siren Frost here, and yes, I am still have a fucking throat problem. Obviously, this shit did not work at all, so that's a fucking rip off right there. I tried drinking some green tea, did not do shit, and I'm drinking Mountain Rush, and it's like shit still, so yeah, so this is gonna be a fucked up video, so hold on a second. God, you're good now. God. <clears throat> okay, so, anyways. Today, I just, today is one of those days, this is another um, episode of a Q&A. This is my very, ever since I first introduced the division of Q&A videos, just because I know there's a lot of people out there that want to have a lot of say something about me, or want to talk to me about something, which is, you know, ask me all these questions. I am more than happy to hear these kind of questions, guys. You have no idea. <sighs> oh, dear God. I think I'm going to start my, my own crack right there. <clears throat> and obviously... My iPod sucks, sucks dick because it's not showing up my Q&As like I wanted to. So obviously like, I use my big fat computer right here just to, give, just to give them questions right here. So obviously it wasn't much, um, there's not much Q&As, there's only just one. And of course it could be from Jaden Storm himself, like oh my god Jaden you... I appreciate this guy so much that, you know, he's trying to help me out to, you know, get this thing started. And I'm very grateful for it, big time. And, um, not quite sure what the fuck's going on with my camera here, but I think it's on crack too. <clears throat> okay, anyways. So, he wrote me some, three more, um, questions for, just to get me started on this, you know, this beginning of it. This is like episode two of Q&A videos, I think. This is for... Jane Storm Part 2. I'm going to just call it like that. It is what it is. That's all. Ugh. So, <clears throat> anyways. So, according to his question, his first one's going to be, um, if you could describe yourself in one sentence, what would it be? In one sentence. Ooh. Damn. Um. Describe myself. Crazy. Bitchy. A lot more crazy. Um, very polite, cordial, um, kind of like the bad girl kind of type. Just a, not going around, well, I do talk a lot of shit. I need to quit that, by the way, so I'm just, bleh. Um, how, how many times did I say crazy? How many times did I actually say crazy? Did I say three more times or two? <clears throat> Mainly crazy. Um, a lot of fun to be around, and obviously people don't want me. So here's the thing. When I wanted to die, people keep telling me, no, you cannot die. Because you're a goddess. You are amazing. You are a good person. Okay, I went with it. I decided to realize I am this cool person. So I'm obviously very cool, crazy, very polite, very nice. Um, every once in a while, I go on my crazy ramp rampages and say, like, Oh, this, this bitch is going to just piss me off again. It's like, you know, how this going to be. Um, I do tend to get very, um, very depressed at times. Just, uh, because I feel like, you know, the world sucks, dude. Like, I'm sorry, but the world fucking sucks. There's so many people who are bigots. People who are assholes. People who act like they're fucking douchebags. People think who they're better than people. I fucking hate that above all else. With a fiery... Fucking, hold on, hold on, Passion. Sorry. Drinking helps the throat a little bit. So, your, to answer to name my own question is mainly, I'm a very crazy bitch. I'm very, not, very polite and very nice. That's three. And, um, I do have my depressed moments. I guess people say I'm kind of freaking bipolar. I could be Dr. Jekyll one minute and Mr. Hyde the next. But that Mr. Hyde is not really all like killing sprays like in the in the movies. He's more she's more say like uh, I'm gonna eat your fucking eyes out if you're gonna bitch at me. <laughs> so yeah, that's um that's a good question on number one. I'm I hope I did the best I can on that one. Question two: favorite music, band, artist, or name a few if you can't think of think of a clear cut fave. And I can't tell if you put a smiley face or a tongue smiley face. I'm like, 
Jay, what am I going to do with you? Your your face your facial expressions are fucking hilarious. I love them. Um, favorite music. Actually, um, now that I can help with because I have a shit ton right here on my iPod because obviously I am blind as a bat right now. I'm too much I can't hear. Um, oh yeah, my iPod's fucking broken as hell, so sorry. we. So the artists I have mainly is I'm I like I like a bit of everything. Like from pop to anime, theme songs to like Rob Zombie or um not Metallica. My sister's more into the, the bigger heavy metal bullshit. But I'm just like what goes through me the most. Um I like mainly theme songs, um Parodies, just a little bit of fun stuff. Like, um, my favorite part about, um, I was gonna, I got this one. Um, so, kind of something like this, just for, for kicks. See, um, that was Burton Ernie parody, by the way, so. Yeah, I kind of like a bit of everything. My main, but my main favorite, though, is... I like, call me a fucking stupid ass for this one, but um, I like love music. Not like Taylor Swift, but just like any music in general that, like Selena, um, Selena, or um, who else do I have on this goddamn thing? I'm sorry, I had to take this numerous times. So I like, um, Tori Kelly, um, Ella Henderson. I love how Ender Ella Henderson's Ghost, because that one song is just like, Every time that thing comes on on radio, I automatically dance to it at work. And I was like, that's like embarrassing to some people, but it's just like, fuck you guys. I'm like dancing like motherfucker right here. So fuck you. So I'm like, yes, I like a bit of everything. Um, so my overall favorite though is definitely Selena and Helen Henderson. Just because their songs are like very awesome, but at the same time they're very sweet. And I'm starting to fall in love with more like Latin music. So I was just like, fuck it. Dancing as an order. God bless you. Um, so, question three. And this is the last one that you did for me. Thank you. Well, not that I don't appreciate it. I'm just saying. Mm. What is your way of trying to get someone into Carfight Vanguard? Okay, so let's just ask this question. The first one in, in this one. Um, you know, I just recommend them. Just, you know, give it a try. Don't be like a sourpuss and... You know, judge them on a bat like some like in your last video. I saw, I heard you basically saying that people are not giving it a chance because it's based on luck, and they're saying that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't take luck at all. It takes real skills. Um, that's fucking bullshit in my opinion because Vanguard takes a shit ton more skills than Yu-Gi-Oh because Yu-Gi-Oh's ban list is full of assholes and the format itself is just bullshit. Like Nat Cross is winning, Burn Abyss. That's all I've been seeing on fucking videos lately. Fucking burn abyss, night crosses, ritual beasts. Nothing against ritual beasts. Nothing against ritual beasts. But still, meta sucks, big fat cocks, and I hate it so much. It's just like I can't, I can't do it. Like you know what? Fuck it. Blech. Bah, humbug. Okay. Um. But the main quit, the main answer. Sorry for going on a little rampage. I just crazy as hell. Told you that. When I try to get somebody into playing Vanguard, I let them watch the, the fight first. And then they ask questions. And just like, is it better than Vanguard? Or, not Vanguard, what the fuck am I saying? Is it better than Yu-Gi-Oh! and Force of Will? Honestly, Force of Will is a very good game. But it, that's, a comp that's a bit of a mix of everything. Vanguard itself, you know, when people see the game, they're, they're asking questions. I like to answer people's questions about it. That's why I do these Q&A videos or try to do the best I can here. For those things. So, per se, I I just let him watch the game that my friend Charles does and just, you know, see how it goes. Now, on your other question, it says, what would you tell someone who has no idea of what this game is and has never heard of it in order to get them at least interested? Well, that answers your first question right there. <laughs> um, a lot of my friends are quitting Vanguard because they're going into Force of Will because the game is so just awesome, I guess. And we have a lot mainly Magic players, mainly. So there's hardly any Vanguard players that we ever get in our shop anymore. So 
what I do, or what my friend do, is just play the game as much as we can. And if someone asks questions about a game, about the game, we answer them. That's all we just basically do. That we're not trying to force anybody's opinion or trying to force them to play the game. Just you know, give it a chance and don't judge it on the bat. Like some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh douchebag that I probably say it. You know, basically just like, oh, Vanguard doesn't take real fucking skills. Yu-Gi-Oh does. I was like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, you stupid piece of shit. Not all of them. Not, not just for disclosure. Not all Yu-Gi-Oh players are bad people. It's just fucking cheaters and douchebags, which I will have a video about that, by the way, about cheating, because that is the most very important topic of all. But I'm just too fucking lazy to do it. Anyways, so that's just what I do mainly, just to, you know, let them watch, judge them what they want to believe in. If they want to get into it, they can. If they don't want to, that's fine. At least you don't have to watch the game a bit. You can still watch. I'm not going to just shun you away, like some people do, obviously. So, anyways, thank you, Jane Storm, for doing these um, these Q&A videos with me as well. I look forward to future, um, future Q&A videos, maybe podcasts, or I don't know how to do fucking podcasts. I don't know how to do shit, that shit. So, and then... For most of you who do have questions, I recommend you just, you know, send me your que- your guys' questions and your- leave a comment down below. And, you know, just ask something of me. Just answer, ask as many questions as you want, whether it's ridiculous or it's about Vanguard, about, you know, about everyday life. Whatever you guys feel like that you guys want to say, I recommend you just fucking say it. Because I'm an open book, I don't have nothing to hide, and that's just pretty much all it. So... Thank you, James. Again, James Storm. Thank you for so much for doing these Q&A videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah. So that's pretty much all I got to say right now. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go out to bed. Because obviously, if this shit's not working. And if um, freaking green tea's not working. And NyQuil's not working. I almost drank a shit ton of NyQuil last night. And I'm a puzzle a bitch. So I got to go find something. I got to go probably gargle some salt, some salt water or something like that. But hopefully it can still work. Anyways, guys, have a great week. And see you guys in the next Q&A video. Bye, everybody.